praise the Lord, just got off the train, and I'm going to walk home. I was going to jump on the bus, but you know what? It's about five miles. Look at this. I'm going to walk to the house. This is Zion, Illinois. This is where I used to live at, about five miles from here. And you know, you know what? I'm just going to walk to the house and enjoy this day. It's about 50 degrees. Nah, it's about 43 degrees and a brisk wind. But you know what? All is well with my soul. I was just on the phone talking to Brother Charles Smith. And um, I don't even want to say from LinkedIn. That's my, I've officially adopted him. He's my little brother. Both my brothers are deceased. I buried Harold. He was found dead in a nursing home. He, had, he was autistic and he had multiple sclerosis. He was found uh, November 2nd, 2012, deceased uh, under his bed. And that still bothers me. And I had the great blessing of eulogizing my brother. And then a year later, my oldest brother, Raphael, 51, dropped dead on Christmas Eve. And prior to that, my mom was found deceased December 16, 2011. So I had the grand, awesome uh, blessing and task to speak at my mother's funeral and to eulogize my baby brother and my oldest living brother. So I was talking to Brother Charles. I said, Brother Charles, we got to keep coming back. Well, we got something to come back to. If your mind is gone, you better remember where you lost it or what you traded it in for. Because the Bible says, what profit a man or a woman to gain the whole world? Look at this. But to lose his or her soul. That's a train station. That's a train stop. So if we're going to make a comeback, make sure your mind has something left in it to come back to. Make sure your heart. A lot of people try to make comebacks. I be seeing uh, a lot of the ministers that I come in contact with are elderly. And I'm not getting on the elderly, but you 75 years old and all of a sudden you want to start working for the Lord. You don't even have the physical ability to evangelize. Um, nobody's evangelizing on scooters, wheelchairs and walkers. So we have to give God what we have while we have something to give as I leave this alone. So if you're going to make a comeback, come back. A comeback to your senses. Come back to your credibility. Come back to your morality. Come back while you still got some physical left. Don't trade your entire life in for some crack. Mm. Don't trade your entire health in for some molly or some XC or some cocaine or some uh, meth. Uh, how are you going to come back if you tear up everything on the inside of you and the outside? As I come on down like Drew Carey and Bob Barker. Yes, I think I'm going to walk home. It's a beautiful day to do some exercise. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. So we cannot uh, continue on the path of destruction we're on and think we're going to make a comeback. You can't make a comeback when you didn't worn your body down to nothing. You can't make a comeback when you have spent all this time with the enemy of your soul and finally you want to try to try God on for size. But the deep thing about God is that the grace of God is like that hat. Did you see in the store? <laughs> it says one size fits all. As I come on down, keep coming back until you come all the way back. Don't keep on playing with, the, with, the, with your life. Don't shoot dice with your life. I mean, don't gamble with your health. Don't gamble with your heart and mind. If you got somebody that you can make it with, make it with them. Make it with them. What's up, little bro? If you got somebody you can make it with, make it with them. If you got, if you got a, a chance at rebuilding your life, rebuild it. I mean, the Bible says, let us make man in our image. <laughs> we can rebuild him as I come on down. Keep coming back until you come all the way back. Don't stay out there in the streets. Don't stay out there in the, in the projects, in the hood, in the inner city. Don't stay out there addicted to everything but God. I've been there, man. Sister, brother, at one time, I was hooked on everything but God. Hooked on anger, hooked on pills, hooked on alcohol, hooked on dope, hooked on violence, hooked on uh, 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 immorality. I mean, come on. I got to be real with myself. I had to come to the realization that uh, I went from something's got to be done to Lord help me do something as I leave this be. You see, we have to empty ourselves with nothing but vessels of ourselves. Hallelujah. And allow God to pour himself into us again you have to empty yourself of yourself 
and allow the most high God, high God, to pour himself into you. I'm going to get on to the house. I'm going to take my own sweet time. Although time waits for no man, I'm not in a hurry. I've made my comeback, and I'm going to keep on coming back. I'm going to keep on coming back for more and more treatment of God. I'm going to keep, see, you have that first testimony that brings you to God. Hallelujah. You have continual testimonies that keep you with God. And then there's testimonies on layaway that are uh, written for you in order for you to come on back. So keep coming back. Keep coming back. The, uh, the indication of life is up, down, up, down, up, down. The rise and fall. Keep coming back. Keep coming back. Like a brand new baby learning how to uh, uh, wobble and wiggle. And a brand new toddler trying out his or her legs for the first time. You fall, you get up. You fall, you get up. You fall, <laughs> you get up. You fall, you get up. That's the indication of life. Heartbeat. Look at this one right here. He, every time I walk through here, he ready. See the little white one over there? I, I ain't scared of nothing. <laughs> and I, I hope he on, on, let's see if he's tied up. Oh, he's tied up today so I don't have to run. It's a little shit tzu. When I come through here, man, that dog chased me uh, all the way up to sharing the road one day and wouldn't stop running. And I was trying to be friendly. <laughs> but, um. Uh, Thank God she tied up today because she ain't playing. Give you another view of her. <laughs> so let me get make my comeback. I'm going to go up and, and just, I'm going to walk. You know what? I am walking straight down Sheridan Road. I wasn't going the back way, but it's, like, it's muddy and everything. But as I come on down, make that comeback. Make it on purpose. Make it deliberate. And T H R. O-U-G-H, I told Brother Charles this. I never heard anybody say, I've stopped in this. I'm stuck in this. The key word is through. I'm going through. Make sure she's tied up. See ya? I'm going through. And in the word through, it's a five-letter word that we must understand. Rough. The word rough is in the word through. It's going to be rough while you're going through. You keep making a comeback until you come all the way back. And guess what? Something else going to be on the way for, for you. But you have the strength, the availability, the desire. You have the perseverance to keep on coming. I, I was telling Brother Charles that every time the enemy of our soul send one of his hellhounds, one of his demons or problems or whatever to check on me, I cut his head off and I send it straight back to hell. And I tell him, send me another one. And I'm going to do the same thing. God bless you. <laughs> God keep you. God loves you. God change you is my prayer. Peace. <laughs> One.